Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, an interesting day. Robin and I left this morning, Went uh, we drove to Galesburg, Illinois. There's a huge, huge antique mall there, uh, four stories high. Anyway, I was just walking through it, and I saw this locomotive, the 490. And I picked it up, and I went, <clears throat> went over to the woman behind the counter. I asked how much, and she said, $25. I was like, okay, thanks, anyway. I was going to put it back. She said, well, there's stuff that comes with it. I said, oh, and she uh, pointed me to a uh, little alcove, and then there was a box full of Marks cars. So this is all tilt couplers, and including one Marks animated car. Uh, it's really rusty. I just got it broken loose. You open the door, a cow sticks his head out, goes back in when the door closes. Anyway, it came with an all-state tender, the animated car, a uh, gondola, two cabooses. Both of these are tilt, and then uh, two gondolas with knuckle couplers. So for 25 bucks, no shipping, I figured why not? And uh, this 490 has a double reduction motor in it. The nice thing about it, this thing's been sitting for years, obviously. I mean, this car is covered with, with rust. A couple of drops of oil on this, and I just wanted to do a quick video so you can see this. As you see, that thing runs like it's brand new. And it runs just absolutely splendidly. I haven't oiled anything yet. Two drops of oil on the locomotive itself. It was pretty dry. And a few drops of oil on the... Uh, rusted animated car because that car was covered in rust frozen solid but i got it broken loose so uh another few minutes of that oil soaking it should be functional but as you see this locomotive is running just absolutely splendidly forward and reverse has the original headlight in it so obviously it's a mix of two different sets since there's uh these uh, gondolas with the knuckle couplers and then uh, two uh, cabooses. So not exactly sure how it worked, but obviously it's a mix of uh, Mark's cars. Anyway, for 25 bucks, I couldn't pass it up, uh, especially considering since these are all four-wheel trucks, of course. These, of course, are standard four-wheel. But uh, these uh, four-wheel trucks, uh, they have a uh, coupler on either end. Of course, this is all tilt. But uh, an all-state tender and a Mark's uh, White Stripe 490. So it's actually missing one screw right there. It has a slight crack. But even so, I bought it for the motor. That's why I picked it up. Uh, it had a, uh, a double reduction motor in it, as you see. So that's really what I was interested in. And then when she said that the entire box of this stuff for 25 bucks, I was like, you know what? I can't buy it on eBay for that much. So I went ahead and bought it. So anyway... Get this cleaned up, it's going to be a decent looking set. The nice thing about it, of course, is that it runs just absolutely perfectly. Like I said, I was going to buy it just for the motor. And this is running just, I mean, it's running like new. It runs just absolutely perfectly. And that's, I don't know, 35% power, perhaps. with that animated car. So anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video on this. As I always stress, don't overlook the junk. And uh, when I found this, like I said, I just thought it was the locomotive. And then when the woman said there's other stuff with it, I was like, let's take a look. So it worked for me. Anyway, so get this cleaned up, lubricated. It's gonna be a decent looking set. It runs absolutely perfectly. And plus two extra cars with knuckle couplers. So you really couldn't uh, pass it up. At least I couldn't. It's in really decent shape. It hasn't been uh, touched or played with in years. That's obvious. You can see all the oxide on uh, the wheels themselves. And uh, this car was really, really rusted. But the, the uh, locomotive itself is actually in really, really decent condition. The uh, tender, as you see, is in really nice condition. So it wasn't a, a complete set. Obviously, this is just a, a, a collage, a hodgepodge of uh, parts that obviously someone brought in to sell. But anyway, I thought the price was fair. 
25 bucks for all of it and a double reduction motor that runs like it's brand new. I mean, this thing runs really well. So anyway, I just want to do a quick video on this. You never know what you're going to find when you go uh, antiquing or to uh, thrift stores. In most cases, antique stores are really, really overpriced. But this was more than reasonable, I thought. And of course, the nice thing about it, it's up and running. Double reduction motor and overall in really, really decent shape. So anyway, I just want to do a quick video on this. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.